everyone, I'm back with another video. So today I wanted to share with you my reasoning for why I went on a no buy for the past three months. I think the last body care item that I ever bought was I think in March and it was one item but I think I think that's when I stopped buying in March um, and my reason for that is um, because I have accumulated so much body care that I started to have products go bad on me. I think in either January or February, I used up a fragrance mask that I got in TJ Maxx just a, right before the pandemic happened and it was still good, but the date was five or six years old so it was starting to go bad on me and I was like you know what I need to start using up these products again I have to try to get through a lot of these older fragrances once again um I did go through I think my 2016 products those are all gone and I still have 2017 products now last year you've seen that i went through a lot of 2017 products a lot of 2016 products i still have more um which i'm going to be focusing on this month and it might carry on to um from june and july um but that's going to be my main focus. Um, I see a lot of collection videos. Um, I see a lot of body care, hygiene, skin care, hauls, um, and there's always a trend going on in those communities. Um, let's get the latest body care item. Let's get the latest hygiene product, the brand new hygiene line or skincare line or makeup or whatever it is that you're into as far as collection or whatnot. There's always a trend and it's like you're tempted to follow everyone else into getting this brand new line and then over time, the older items that you've collected two, three, four years ago during, you know, it could be SAS, it could be um, just a big annual sale that um, a certain department store has every one to two years. Um, those products, gets left behind, it gets buried, it gets pushed towards the back and forgotten about. And when you have to do an empties video, when you have to do a decluttering video, you come across products that you've forgotten about or you didn't get a chance to get to because you were using up the brand new product that just came out so you can do a personal review on what you actually think of that product and if you would actually repurchase it again um and that's fine too but for me i just i got tired of following the trend i go through stages of um Hoarding, you know, I will go through body care stages and I would buy the latest body care every single week. I would buy the new body care line. I would buy the new um, perfume or whatever it is that I was 
into at the time and I would just buy body care and that's all I would think about that's all I would want it's just body care and I got burnt out I think towards the end of February beginning of March I got burnt out when I got the my last collection from I think Victoria's Secret and I just I said you know I can't keep buying products if I'm just if my heart's not there you know I can't just buy it if I'm not in the mood to collect it or hoard it you know um, and I don't want to do it because everyone else is doing it you know I don't want to follow the trend I want to just do my own thing um, and it's gotten me so much further in life um, just doing things on my own and focusing more on me and what I need to do in order to better myself um, financially, emotionally, mentally, physically and it's been working for me the past three months you know I've been doing great um, the temptation as far well as collecting body care has subsided it's not where I absolutely need it you know in the beginning I wouldn't really watch body care hauls because it would make me sad that you know I went on this note by and I see these new products coming in and I see everyone reviewing it I want it but I look at my collection and I see a lot of products still from 2017 that are in my collection, 2018 that are in my collection that needs to be used up. And I still have 2019, 20 and 21 items in my collection. I still have two years products from two years ago in my collection still and we're already in 2021 so um i haven't really collected anything just yet so i'm very excited for sas i can't wait um to make my list and start buying body care again i missed it so much and um, I'm not going to worry about getting the entire line. Um, I'm only going to get what I can and what's available online and forget the rest. Um, and what I'm able to use, I'll buy. And what I'm not, I'm just not going to pick up. I will be reading the keynotes before I make my purchases because the products now are extremely high. They're $16 a piece. And every time I don't like a product, I have to sell it for $5 because nobody wants to buy it for 10. Nobody wants to buy it no more than $5. Um, you know, because SAS, you get it for six fifty, you get it for three ninety five. So they're not going to want to spend ten dollars, you know, when they can get it cheaper during the sale. So I don't want to waste my money on a product that I'm not going to use or enjoy. Um, but I went from body care to more focused on hygiene products and I started collecting hygiene. Now I'm fully stocked up for the next four months, which is okay. And I'll probably buy more as I start getting low. Um, but now because I stocked up on hygiene products, I can more focus on more body care 
for SAS because I'm fully stocked up on hygiene stuff and I don't have to worry about running low and I went from hygiene to bead, bead stuff um, and I started collecting beads. I started buying tons of hauls, tons of junk jewelry lots so I can expand my beading um, stash and I have plenty of storage and then I have plenty of storage under my bed now which I wasn't expecting but I'm going to be getting more storage on this side of my bed um, to store more beads and junk jewelry and stuff so I'm going to split it up between you know new beads and junk jewelry that I get I could store on this side and then the beads and stuff that I've already repurposed, pulled apart, made jewelry and so forth is going to be on the other side next to all my beading and crafting stuff. So I have easier access to the stuff that's um, ready to bead and make um, jewelry with. Um, and now I'm pretty much burnt out on beads. Um, I do need beading material and um, tools and stuff, um, which I would pop, which I'm going to be getting um, eventually. But as far as beads and storage and stuff, I really don't need it anymore. I have plenty and I have four empty bead boxes that I don't know what to um, use yet. I have everything within type or colored order and yes I can fill up those bead boxes um, but I ran out of bags um, and I usually store all my beads in bags and um, I ran out of bags so it, it's time for me to slow down, use up what I have, enjoy what I have now and make jewelry, you know, just enjoy what I've collected over the past six months. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow down on the hauls, the junk jewelry. And I'm going to be doing more bead with me and jewelry making videos. Um, but now I want to start collecting body care once again. Um, I will be doing a body care inventory on what's left, how many products I have um, left and so forth. And yeah, I can't wait to see my progress. Um, but I have missed collecting body care. I've been watching body care hauls once again and um, I'm excited for some new products and I can't wait to start um, buying again. I want, I wanted to just be more of like, let me just enjoy what I have let me use of what I have um, because I see a lot of um, decluttering videos empties videos and a lot of people have thrown out so many new products they've thrown out new products because they either have PR unboxings and they get tons of products sent to them every month and they end up throwing away brand new products that have expired, expensive products that have expired um, that they didn't even get to use because they were collecting and collecting and reviewing and using up new products to do a review on the latest product and the old products have been pushed towards the back and that's why I slowed down on buying body care. Um, and now that I've seen 
that I have quite a bit of 2017 products left to use that's four years old like I think if I wait until next year it, it, they're all gonna be expired they're all gonna be gone and I'm gonna have to throw away 10 products I don't want to do that um, and I don't want to collect body care products because it's in a certain collection and I'm not ready to use the collection just yet. Um, I don't want to do that anymore. Um, or it's a limited edition um, collection so I don't want to use it up because it's limited edition and I want to hold on to it. I don't want to do that either. Um, and that's what I was doing with the Paris line. Um, and the Oahu Coconut Sunset, the Fiji Pineapple Clam, that collection, I did that. I was holding on to that for a very long time as well. And um, I don't wanna do that. I wanna just enjoy my products, use it up, make room for the latest collection that's coming out so I have room on my shelf and I can start using and more focusing on products that are more older and just enjoying the older products and um, shedding some light on retired scents rather than the latest body care collection and yeah um, and yeah but I think I'm ready um, to start collecting body care again I'm excited I can't wait for SES and I can't wait to bring that video out to you on what products I'll be looking for. Um, not everything that I've seen over the past few months are online anymore, so I'm gonna have to like Google search it or something or look it up on Macari or whatever. Um, but there's products that I've been keeping my eye on and that I'm really interested in and I hope I see these products at SES so I can pick them up um, but I will be picking I will be looking at the keynotes um, so I don't buy something that I'm not going to use um, I've done a few declutters I decluttered a few other products like once or twice this year um, and yeah I, I don't want to do that anymore um, as of now but um, yeah that's my reason for why I went on a no buy for um, three months um, and I can't wait to see my progress. I'm excited um, to see how much I actually used up, how much is left, and I can't wait to start collecting. Um, but as far as beads and um, storage, I don't think I'm going to be doing that um, for a little while. I'm going to slow down. I want to enjoy what I've collected over the past few months. And as far as hygiene, I'm still going to buy as I start getting low on products. I will be restocking, so um, now I can focus on body care. I can focus on SES because I have plenty of beads and jewelry making supplies and storage to last me a long time. And I have plenty of hygiene products to last me the next four months. So I don't need that either. So I can just relax, focus on SES for Victoria's Secret, Pink, and Bath and Body Works, and I can start collecting without feeling guilty or needing anything in the background um, to put a pause on what I'm wanting to focus on. So. Um, yeah, so those are my reasonings, and yeah, it's been 
it's been a long three months but i'm ready so um i will be bringing out the video for um body care that we'll be looking for in ses for Victoria's secret pink bath and body work so you're gonna see that pretty soon and yeah so that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one